Bon ma mère. Today's video, we're going to be cooking a very most delicious traditional Kenyeji kuku. What I mean is an organic chicken. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kemto Bear. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas by now, it's already passed. Today's video, we're going to be cooking a very most delicious traditional Kenyeji kuku. What I mean is an organic chicken. Free, free fed. It's, this chicken has been fed. When I mean organic chicken, it has, it has been fed as uh, green grass. It has been left to feed for itself. So yeah, that's what we are doing today. We are cooking in an African village in Kisi, in a village called... This is my mother. When I say my African mother, I'm very proud to say I'm African. I'm an African daughter. I'm from the motherland. So, yeah. So, I'm called Nini. My mother, this village is called what? Yamanagu. Yamanagu village. Yes. So, today we are doing that. I didn't show the part of slaughtering the hen because of. Um, uh, I don't want uh, to not gain ads, but you can see that video on my Patreon account. So, follow my Patreon account here for exclusive content you can join as little as five dollars and support the channel on paypal and drop a sweet comment down below so the first thing we are going to do we have here hot water thank you for one of you cater for supporting us we can boil water <laughs> in the village thank you for the cater so what we do <laughs> so we are putting hot water. Mama, to nafanya hot water kwa ni yonge na kisinta translate. So we are removing. We are putting really, really hot steaming water to remove the feathers from the from the chicken. We are going to cook everything from the legs, from the feet, and I hope you watch this video till the end to see how we cook our chicken in the village. Mama Salimia K tribe, they have missed you. They love village vlogs. K tribe, K tribe. K tribe is another TV station. So you see how it's easy for it to remove? When you put hot water, it will kill also bacteria. This is what our ancestors used to do. How does it feel? It feels okay. I'm doing this for you guys. I normally just even my mama is happy with these YouTube videos. Yeah. I usually ignore this kind of call. Sure. Even real. <laughs> I had to know how I put to light of, uh, firewood. I put <laughs> because of YouTube. <laughs> and, my, and my sister is being Mona recording yeah. behind the screen. So, so hi. Yourself. YouTube made me know how to light a firewood. I, did. I wasn't interested. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to cook it the Kenyeji way from our sensor. This recipe is from our ancestors. My mama taught me and I think your mama grandma taught you this. Mama. Mm. Uh, What's your favorite part of the chicken? Huh? Which one? This, the back? Oh. Mama, this is, tell me the stories of when you are eating chicken kitambo in your family. Mm. 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 
Sasa mkoa mna mbao mna kula nini? Hakuna. Hakuna unapenda unapenda hapa. So my mom is saying, but I we are speaking a language called Ekewusi. Language called that is Kusi. My mom is Mama saying, when they were nini, young, they, they were told, like the men in the house, they will tell that women, or the only people who are allowed to eat the chicken is only men. I think it's traditional for women not to eat uh, chicken because <laughs> Yeah, because they know it was good so uh, women were used to some some meat were used to just uh, nini use yeah. Uh, yeah. Koloni too. Yeah. Koloni mambo leo. so yeah the women yeah. will not even eat anything I got your comment so my mom is saying that we've already finished removing. We've, we've finished removing the feathers, but as you can see, there are some other feathers here. We're going to light the fire and roast it. And roast it. You can see there's still some manure. So we are going to roast it. <laughs> to roast it to remove the small feathers. Yeah. Yeah, to burn this. To burn this. My mama is correct. Ah, Mama, pole aki. Pole. Hi, pole. So, yeah. Drop a sweet comment. Drop a sweet, mini, tasty, spicy comment on the comment section below. And let me know how you cook this chicken. I'll be doing. I'll be doing a. If you put your recipe or share your recipe on my email, email it will be here. I'll be doing maybe a video cooking the way you cook, right? Don't mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 But my mom, she said because of the. The weather. The weather and it has been raining since. Unpredictable. Yeah. So you have to light here and cook early. Yeah. Guys, watch my other video where I cooked tribes also. It will be on the link here. Watch my African village vlogs link here. So put a sister on PayPal. <laughs> Guys, let me teach you some my mother tongue. This is you. This is Etwan. It's called uh, in Kiswahili Joko. In my in English Rosta. Rosta. How do I say cock? <laughs> Rosta. Tell me in your language what you call this. Uh, leaves of the branch. They they light the fire really good. That's why I'm putting them fast. Guys, I don't know what's happening with our cock nowadays. I don't know if they are from China. That sound, that sound. Yeah, you see that sound? The cock They used to cool in the morning at four and maybe at six. Now they are cooking like every hour. Every hour. What's that? Chinese. They are modern. They are modern hands. Chinese. The ancestral, ancestral cocks used to. <laughs> Rooster. Used to many other different times. Hey, mom. I know. You know, I came, it was like a boot camp. My, my parents, it's the worst thing to be a last one. When your parents, when my parents retired, I was in class. Eight. So I I came back with them. Okay? I did everything for four years. Even they took me boarding to a school oh, nearby here. Yeah. Yeah. So then, guys, I'm going to take you to my school tomorrow. Yes. For five, six years, I was here. For then my mom took over. <laughs> Mama is teaching me how to, to do it. Come on, do it. 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 Do it
It's a young roster. I like that young roster. I took care of this. It almost looks like it's going to go. It's cooked. Mm, I can yeah. eat it. Let me eat this. People say it's so fatty and sweet. Mm. I've never tried it before. Since we don't get one million on the next video, I'll try this. Yes. <laughs> All for the view. Mm. Yeah. So there's a procedure of cutting the chicken. You can't just cut the chicken anyhow. How many years of so if this bell duck if you don't remove it carefully all your chicken will be bitter so you have to remove it very well just do as my mama is doing this is Bile duct in our language is endorua. And what about yours? Hmm? Hmm? Ah, yeah, I take it. bad now. So you can see it has spoiled. Mm. This has, has spoiled, so that means this all liver, it's the liver. Yeah. It's bad. So we have to imagine it. Yeah. You see what? Kidney. Heart. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now this is the way there. This part is the This is the breast. Which one? This. Uh -huh. You have to cut it into you can't just cut it like that. You have to cut it in. In our in our custom. This is how we cut it. Kulangi hat. And it is very afraid. So you could cut it. So you see how we cut it? Into pieces because we can have uh, an invited guest in the time. Hey, you put a fast soft. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. We are cutting it the, the way we used to cut long time ago. It's a young rooster. Mm. Yeah, we like young rooster because That's if you don't me. know Kenyeji, oh, this is my sister. So no, yeah. my sister being Mona raise, is raising. Huh? I raise this yeah, so how are you feeling the way we are cutting yeah, it? Know. It's your baby. My babies are dying one by one <laughs> <laughs> because of Christmas, but I did it because of Christmas. Yeah, instead of buying. People yeah, say because, that because you stay in a, mm. in a house that has bricks, mm. they will sell for you rooster. But they in a Kwanka is for? They want for 1200. 1200. They charge at a 15. At a 15 now, Christmas. Uh, because it's Christmas. Yow! Oh, so this ch chicken is from our own Nini farm, and thanks to it's in this time. It's Ruth's business. Yeah, this is my business. I'm back. 
trust. Ah, well, I'm inside business. I didn't tell you. But what you will find in case people will start business and that they so will start for substantial, they talk about substantial farming. That is a large intestines and small intestines. Yeah, those are tribes. We don't eat for they roast it. Chicken legs for the unwanted guests. We have a lot of them. I have a lot of them. You also eat the neck. This is the neck. So guys, I'm going to put two cups of two to three cups of water. You are going to boil the kinyaki because we are putting all the head, all the parts that is cut. And we are going to boil them for one hour. Kenyaji chicken stew is one of the most popular of current trending meals in the world. Today, let's start with the recipe. I'll show you a way to make a special dish, Kenyaji chicken stew. I will make the broth, I will boil the chicken with one onion. You can put many onion as you want. It's only because uh, in the village, onions are very expensive. I'm going to put one onion. I could have put many, but no. Then put one garlic and ginger. Now I'm going to close the lid and let it boil. I'm going to let it boil here. Take four tomatoes, cut them, and then add them to the chicken broth. This is after 30 minutes of boiling because we need, we're going to be frying this kuku kenyeji for 30 minutes again. So during your time, you add a teaspoon of salt and close the lid. Drain the excess broth because we need a wet fry chicken. So I need to fry it. So we are draining the excess broth to use it later. The chicken stew, that's the chicken broth stew. Now we're going to take another onion, a ginger and garlic. Peel your ginger. You need a thumbs like the size of a thumbs, half a thumb of ginger. So that's what we're doing. This is my mother's recipe. She makes us chicken during public holidays and Christmas.
chop your dania dania is coriander we just say it in dania in swahili and add it to your stew like the last part of it sprinkle it and cover your stew for two minutes also keep on stirring and checking your stew so that it doesn't burn or dry up I put the soup, the chicken broth soup afterwards, later. Do check. I need your advice. Some of my choker. I need my mom to tell me. I'm here cooking, so it's the stage where I need to. I need my mom to tell me if she needs more broth, more soup, or she needs it dry. So we'll see what she what she will this is the Mama said that she doesn't want, she wants it to dry fry and the soup will be with a poor candle. The soup will be candles. Mm -hmm. The chicken soup. So she wants to taste it with me. But pay but but kidogo. Aeroplane. Aeroplane. Wings. Wings. Wings the aeroplane. Ah, no, yeah guys that's it guys i've cooked the chicken now i'm gonna cook the stew that we're going to be eating it with Good. Yeah, so now that's how we cook our chicken kienyeji, which is organic chicken, free range chicken. So let me know if you we will eat it with mama will eat it because mama is diabetic and high blood pressure. She's gonna eat it with a traditional uh, traditional ugali ugali awimbi. 
let's co comment down below at is ugali or because english in an ipotea when i'm vlogging so and us we're going to eat it with um uh, uh, ugali the normal one so if you would like for me to uh, to if you would love for me it will be our, com our company and tradition of vegetable so if you love for me to do another tradition of vegetable video another like ugali video ugali is like uh, a cake a maize cake i don't know what i was saying so yeah if you love for those kind of videos african village video cooking video on three fire stone on firewood let me know in the comment section down below drop a very juicy comment and let me know about your recipes also what you do in your village how you cook your meals how your culture and i'll also incorporate your recipes in my recipes because i'm always learning i always want to learn i've done a jamaican recipe also before for cabbage and eggs so yeah i would love to know any other culture that is there so yeah now i'm gonna cook ugali and then i'm gonna serve and i'm going to eat outside of course there will be visitors mama has to ask visitors we'll see let me cook ugali and then we'll check you later Stop, Sangha. Okay. 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 Okay